Aloha, my ohana. So I know it's been a few days since my last update to you, and I apologize uh, with the holidays and um, all the things that I'm trying to get done at the end of the year. It's uh, been a whirlwind. So just to give you an update on what's going on with me, first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone that has supported me all year long, um, especially Kimberly Wynn, who is Tom's step aunt. Uh, she's been a monthly member of my supporter, Ohana, on my blog website, uh, which is buymeacoffee.com slash aloha, or uh, a short version is bit.ly slash aloha jedi. And yes, that definitely is going to help uh, with paying for gas and for dog sitters um, this coming, well, next week, actually. I can't believe it's already going to be next week. So I am going to do the disaster relief in um, a place that's only three hours away from where I'm at right now. And I did hear back from Team Rubicon, and they said that for people who are unvaccinated that they can only help remotely right now. So, so I'm glad that um, I have Samaritan's Purse that I can help with in person. And so, but I did find out that the weather, um, the first three days <laughs> that I'm gonna be there, it will be below 32 degrees. So I'm thankful that I have the winter gear that I bought um, last week. And I got myself a good sleeping bag and I got some other gear like gloves and um, things that I think will come in handy for staying warm and for being able to do work there. So um, there has been a unexpected thing that came up actually just yesterday. Um, so I'm supposed to leave here on the third, the morning of the third. Um, and so I was going to pack up my stuff the Saturday before, but now, um, and actually I wanted to leave earlier, but I had promised that I would stay till the third. So, you know, I wanted to make good on my word, but, um, so the person that I'm working for, you know, rented this apartment and is paying a special monthly fee uh, for the dogs and so to get out of that he has asked me to move the dogs out by the end of the month which is the 31st which is New Year's Eve now if it was New Year's Eve I would have moved out on the 31st but because it's New Year's Eve I knew that it would be hard for me to get in somewhere on New Year's Eve and so that's why I extended it to the third but um, Susie's here <laughs> If she wants to go for a you-know-what that starts with a W. I can't say it because otherwise she'll start wagging her tail and then I won't be able to to talk. So anyway, um, so that has presented a challenge to me. Um, at first I got upset because I'm thinking, you know, that's ridiculous uh, to try to do that on a holiday weekend, you know, because the first is New Year's Day. So, but, you know, I kind of get it because, you know, usually apartment contracts go month by month. So so I'm praying that the apartment management will have mercy and be understanding and, you know, let it go until at least the second because I'm thinking, well, my plan was, because I still have to work here on the 1st from 5 p.m. until 3 a.m. the next morning, which is the 2nd. And with there being fireworks going to be going off, um, I know that my my one dog is going to freak. Even if I give her a sedative or something, it's not going to like totally knock her out because she's just like very high strung. And so I had counted on having her with me so that way she sees me and she's still, you know, going to be a nervous wreck, but it'd be better than for her being at some strange place with strange people um, because
because last time for 4th of July, even though she was in the same house as me, she was in the same room as me, and I had her in a crate, and she bit at the crate, um, um, what do you call it, door, uh, which is made of wire, and she busted like 12 teeth, so, and it cost me $500 to deal with that, so, yeah, I don't want to deal with that again, so, you know, the guy suggested, you know, well, you can put them in your truck, but, <laughs> um, and she's going to tear up my truck, um, and she's probably going to bust some teeth, too, or she might break a window, you know, trying to find me, so, so please pray for me that I can find a solution to this challenge that I've been presented. I'm hoping I can find a place that's maybe like an hour away in the country where there won't be fireworks and uh, and then she can they can stay there and hopefully it'll cost less than thirty dollars a night and uh, I can drop them off Friday afternoon and then picking up pick them up Sunday morning um, as soon as I wake up and then and then I'm thinking I'll just take off that day because I don't want to have to pay for another day of boarding them somewhere if I can help it you know and I'm not going to need to work anymore so um so so please pray for me and please let me know how I can pray for you um I do a well, I try <laughs> I do my best to do a daily prayer list for people who need prayer um at least to lift their names up to God so that um God will help them in whatever way they need that day so please let me know what your needs are and if um if there's something going on in your life that's going great and you've had answer to prayer then please pr uh share that as well uh, because you know we don't want to only pray to God for our problems but also pray to him and thank him for what he's done in our lives so so with that i am going to say mahalo for watching have a blessed day and i look forward to talking to you in the next video